I'm just going to play this. Play this because I can. Ugh, we'll go suffer for a little while. And then we'll go buy Zara and we'll go play a game at tier 7. I'll take some more requests. No, Outer Trail. I haven't played it yet. I'm not a huge fan of Tone. Like, I get why people like her. She's just not my kind of ship. The hybrid ships in general, I really struggle with. <laughs> yeah, so Yukikaze only has the F3s. She is... Yukikaze is basically like a, a, a Kagero with a Death Wish. It's a Kagero that has, it says, drive me closer. I want to, I don't want to fire more tor my torpedoes until I can see the whites of their eyes. Nice, Andrew. Uh, Red Dragon flags, you mean, right? All of the special econ flags are good stuff. Like, that is a great get. Anytime you get that out of a CC crate, you're in good shape. All right, good matchmaking. It's a purely 7-8 game. Any radar? They have no radar. They have no radar. They have no radar. Okay. Mm-hmm. I watched Stryker molest the poor NorCal. Getting the Benham shocked me. Let's do There's this. a Huron in this game, ladies and gentlemen. Look at that. HMCS Huron, Huron right there in front of me. <laughs> Excuse me. Check it out. The old test boat. I don't even think I have one of these for testing yet. Did they give us Huron today for testing? Yes, they did. Okay. Well, that'll be a first look video I can do on the weekend. How about that? No, it's absolutely a super test ship. It's just... I... I When I saw the list of ships that they gave us to, for super testing today, I didn't... I didn't read it close enough. I missed that one. So, yeah. There you go. Oh, Striker. That's mean and glorious. I love everything about what you just said. Yeah, Hetman, this is so... Huron is the boat that Mouse was I either... She was working with them on, or this was like their makeup boat for how they handled uh, Yukon or something. She's tied into it somehow. And I, as I think... Do not quote me on this. She will know and I don't. I think that they've continued to keep her and Chubbs involved in some of the design decisions or the camo or something along the way. Maybe I'm wrong. I don't know. I don't, I don't know the details. If you really want to know, go to the forums and ask her. I'm sure she'll tell you. But I, I do not know off the top of my head. You saw her today, did you, 4BF? Awesome. I'm glad she's still playing. She may not be a CC anymore, but I'm of the opinion that, that the game and the community still need still need her voice. One of the things I hate about Harbin is how floaty these shells are. It's incredibly irritating. Another day. Watch me try to hit this Valk Len. I bet I can't. I bet they all fall short and I miss him. Alright, I, I sort of clipped him. But yeah, the floaty shells on this boat really torqued me off. That was a good hit. Dropped him right straight down on top of him. Turned into that salvo, too. All right. 
Nobody left in range, although the Megami's coming back. Megami is coming back. Excellent. Oop, smoke's expiring. Time to go. It's four on three down here. That feels kind of bad. You know what, Sully? I 100% agree. I am absolutely with you there. That is that is the American premium submarine that we all want. The USS Rustoleum with Kelsey Grammer voicing the captain. You are 100% correct. I agree, Gilron. The lack of Excel is a huge failing of these ships. Time to put on the beer goggles. All right, settle for me, girl. We're going to go farming this Duke of Yuck for a bit. Well, that's a Mahan. Another day, another disembowelment. Legit pisses me off how slowly this line kills destroyers sometimes. Like, I should be murdering destroyers. And there, it's just these shells are so unreliable. It's very difficult to kill, very difficult to hit them half the time. Presumably the guns on this line get better, but here at tier eight, I don't feel like these lines are all that amazing. I don't. I don't feel like these guns are all that amazing. They just. They just don't feel good to me at all. Well, we don't have a tremendous amount of ship health, uh, ship lead, but we've been keeping them off the caps, so we've got a decent amount of points, which feels nice. I swear that'd be another good one too. It's unfortunate that Cary Grant is no longer around to lend his voice to such a project. Good news is I think I'm going to catch this Rado with a torp if he doesn't burn out. Okay, I'm lit, which means the Valk is probably down here somewhere. I think I might catch him with one of these. Yep. I like big guns, and I cannot lie. Are you sure about that, Mahan? I am a light cruiser, son. Are you really sure you want to pick a fight with me? Like, that feels like a perhaps not, not smart idea. At 10 kilometers. Admittedly, it's not like my guns are all that amazing at this range either. But I can hit you. Ah, uh, much better. Great, my rudder's out for like the eighth time. Think I've got the Mahan with that salvo. No, maybe with this one. 
No, because I can't aim. Here we go. Who's your daddy now? Time to put on the beer goggles. Still have no rudder control. I can't even pen this guy's superstructure? Come on. Amagi took care of it, though. Amagi doing work. Giving him the business end. I love it. Let's go run this Valk to, Valk to ground and get him off the board. His continued existence makes me angry. I do that sometimes, not on this ship. Uh, the Mahan Torp range can go out to 9.2 kilometers. It depends on it depends on how he's built the ship. Yeah, it's a good question, Donnie. Like, uh, you know, I love Mahan, but I'm not going to go pick a fight with a light cruiser at 10 kilometers. I'm probably not going to pick a fight with a light cruiser at all, but I'm certainly not going to do it at range. Um, no, no, not Russian 139s. Russian 130s. The 139s are French. And so, I don't think I have IFHE on this captain, which means I only have 20... 22? 21 millimeters of pen? 21 millimeters of pen. 22. Something like that. So, it's like... But, but I mean, I had moments there where I wasn't even penning the superstructure of the Duke of York. Like, that felt terrible. How does that even happen? Oh, yeah, if you can get to close range, Hujam, but you don't even have Hydro. So, like, you have no incentive to get to close range. Getting to close range is, like, death. Yeah, I can't even hit this guy. Sailing straight away from me, I can't even get shells on him. All right, the Hipper on 1,100 HP is going to cap B, I think. 50k cold. Nice, Chaser. I don't know, Beretta. At tier 8, at tier 7, I don't think I did it. Actually, no, at tier 7, I did do it. Because the tier 7 ship is basically in Atlanta, and Atlanta wants IFHE, right? Oh, good, they killed the Hipper. Um, in between games, we'll stop and peek. We'll, have, we'll stop and have a peek. I don't remember right now, off the top of my head. Now, going back to the, the Ripple Fire, somebody in chat was asking about Ripple Fire. For me, Ripple Fire on the quick firing light cruiser guns is a psychological thing. Does it radically change the amount of damage you deal to a target? No. It probably doesn't make a difference at all. However, it does impact how your target perceives the damage that they're receiving. And so what I like to do is when I'm farming a battleship, for example, I will sometimes... It's not uncommon for me to ripple fire because I like freaking them out and making them think um, what they're, what's happening to them is worse than reality. Oh, this Zeton just citadel the bejesus out of that Lenin. Beretta, it's very tier dependent. The short answer on IFHE is that it's very tier dependent. Um, we'll have a look at it here in a minute. I still don't really like Carbon. I mean, that's not a bad game for me. The Amagi did amazing work down south, and I kind of pitched pitched in a little bit. I, But I still don't like this ship. Um, I should... This ship wants to be Smolensk, but somehow it's just not. Let's 
So let's have a look.